What's up guys? I uh, thought I would take a few minutes in this video to talk about some of the challenges that we still face in light of the Supreme Court uh, overturning some of these nonsense gun laws that have been in place forever. Uh, you know, depending on the state that you live in, there's always been a tremendous amount of freedom for some of us. Uh, here where I'm at, Kentucky is a very gun-friendly state. Uh, except for liberals, y'all really don't need to come here. You would hate it here with all the bugs. The weather's miserable. I mean, trust me, you'd hate it here. Uh, but anyways, for the rest of you gun-loving folks out there, it's a great place to live. It is somewhere that we have a lot of freedoms. Open carry is has been the law of the land forever. Uh, a few b years back, we went to constitutional carry, and it did not turn out to be the, you know, the old west uh, gun frights in the streets every day uh, show that a lot of the li the liberals tried to make it out to be, uh, with the exception of Louisville maybe. But anyways, guys, the reality is there's still a lot of challenges out there for us. Uh, New York, especially, there's still a lot of craziness that's going on in New York. I'm sure that some of you guys have been aware that New York has been pushing back pretty heavily on some of the things that they're doing. Now, one of the things that New York is doing is they have passed a law, uh, working on passing a law that basically says some of the same things that was uh, thrown out by the Supreme Court. Now, you can see here some of the re requirements that applicants must go through in New York is to show that they have the, quote, essential character temperament and judgment necessary to be entrusted with a weapon uh, now this basically is just another way of wording the uh, the clause that was struck down by the courts where they basically uh, residents in New York had to show a need for carrying a firearm and this is basically what New York is doing and of course it's going to be challenged but one of the very interesting parts of this legislation is the fact that New York wants to look through your social media. They want you to give them a list of all your social media accounts where they can go through all of your posts and things like that, which, you know, the argument can be made that some of the things are public on someone's social media, depending on what you have your privacy settings set to. But at the same time, I don't think that this would withstand any kind of a court scrutiny. I believe it is a clear Fourth Amendment violation. And I think that if we were to ever have a court case on that, that, that is exactly what the courts would find. You can see that in the article here. Uh, you know, part of it is you must, the bill says applicants must or would have to turn over a list of any social media accounts they have had in the past three years to confirm the information. Now, I think that that would be something that under the Fourth Amendment would be challenged. You know, I don't see any reason why something like that wouldn't be challenged. Okay, and you can see here, even from the New York Post, they talk about it as well. Uh, you know, they talk about how that they are, that the state Senate approved the legislation Friday afternoon and it of course bans the carrying of firearms in certain places it does extend out a lot of the locations that are banning or where you could ban guns of course houses of worship uh, and you see an article here from the uh, bearing arms and we know that as it talks about there were a couple of examples to where an armed parishioner in a church had stopped uh, a mass shooting event uh, public transportation is also another place where they are trying to ban it. Airports, environmental ven or entertainment venues, you know, uh, th movie theaters, places like that. They're trying to ban those firearms there. Bars and restaurants, of course, there's a lot of places, a lot of states that do ban that as well. Even in here in Kentucky, you cannot carry inside a bar or a bar area of a restaurant even if you have a concealed carry license and you know different states have different laws regarding that Times square they're trying to ban time you know being able to carry at Times square polling sites that's another place that is prohibited in many states is polling places educational institutions okay now uh, depending on the state 
uh, that varies as well. Some states ban people from carrying on college campuses. Others do not. You know, it really depends on the particular state that you live in. Uh, typically, your, um, you know, kindergarten through 12, K through 12 level, most states ban that without some type of permission from the school. Uh, you know, that just depends on the state that you live in. Daycares, playgrounds, and other places where children gather, libraries, all government buildings. Now, as we all know, this is something that is... Uh, you know, as far as like federal buildings and stuff like that, even in states that are very gun friendly, even like here in Kentucky, you cannot carry into most of your federal buildings because of, uh, you know, federal law and things like that. Courthouses, that is some place that is typically banned for everyone, uh, even here in Kentucky, with, unless you are a member of law enforcement. Now, that is one of the few exceptions that they give. Health, medical facilities, emergency shelters. Now, this is something here. Uh, homeless people, uh, you know, they cannot carry, if they do have a firearm, uh, they would not be able to carry into any of these emergency shelters. Now, I think that this could get a little interesting in the event of a disaster if someone that, for whatever re reason, was made homeless due to no fault of their own, uh, such as an apartment fire or something like that, if they went to a homeless shelter, I think that that's something that could potentially be challenged, but who knows what would happen in such a case. Uh, public demonstrations and rallies, basically protesting, you know, that's some of the other areas where you would not be able to uh, basically carry a firearm. Now, uh, these, some of these places that they've talked about in their legislation, uh, I believe that more than likely it would stand up against a court challenge, at least at this point. Now, there's no telling what could happen going forward. But for some of the things that they are trying to propose as far as courthouses and things like that, I think that they would probably get that through. That does not mean that I agree with it, but I do believe that they would be able to, uh, that, w that it would stand up in a court case. As far as uh, you being required to give them a list of your social media accounts, I think that that's something that probably would not. But there again, guys, this is just completely my opinion. I'm not a lawyer. I'm just a guy talking to a camera on YouTube. But I think that it is very insulting that this, that the state at New York, uh, it's basically trying to do what they can to sidestep the ruling by the Supreme Court. Now, I know that there's a lot of other cases that are coming up. There are challenges to some of the magazine bans and things like that. Uh, there are challenges to so-called assault weapons bans and things that could really reshape the way that a lot of these places are, uh, you know, how they view and have treated the Second Amendment. Uh, you know, they've treated it basically like a second class right. And I think that it's absolutely absurd. But anyways, guys, this is just a quick video that I wanted to do talking about some of the things that are going on, some of the laws that are still out there and some of the changes that they are trying to make to basically sidestep the Supreme Court ruling. But guys, let me hear from you, especially any of you guys that are living up there in New York. Uh, you, have you noticed any changes yet as far as how things are with this ruling? Uh, I'd love to hear from you and, uh, you know, just to get your thoughts on this, to know what's going on up there. Guys, thanks for watching. Check out the rest of the videos on the channel. Check out all the links down in the description, and we'll see you next time.